All right, you want to make chip tunes on your computer. Before you start making any sound, here are six things you got to do. Number one, download Milky Tracker. Website is listed below. Uh, there are a lot of other trackers out there and you can spend days trying to figure out which one is better. I encourage you just to get this one and jump in. It's open source, it's multi-platform, and it's free. Number two, use a full-size keyboard. Uh, the key with getting fast with trackers is using the mouse as little as possible. And having a full-size keyboard gives you access to all the hotkeys. I tried Milky Tracker on my laptop and using a smaller keyboard, and it's totally usable, but not as good. Number three, uh, the manual. Uh, here's the manual. Have it ready and use it. It's the best resource for explaining all the hotkeys and the effects. As you can see, there's a lot of them, and you'll be referring back to this document a lot. Number four, uh, let's hit uh, config input output and select your audio driver. This is what mine looks like and they all work. Uh, if you're not getting any sound, play around here. Number five, config layout resolutions. This box right here, figure out what works best for you. If I don't have this just right, my eyes feel like they're crossing and I'll have a headache for days. So I use a custom resolution at a times two scale. You can also play around with the fonts here and change the font of the pattern editor. Number six, config miscellaneous edit mode Milky Tracker. This is what I use and this is what I'll be referring to throughout these tutorials. If this is your first tracker, don't even worry about Fast Tracker 2. Uh, chances are, if you know what Fast Tracker 2 is, you probably don't need these tutorials in the first place. So we're going to use Milky Tracker and it gives plenty of access to hotkeys and good workflow. Everything else you either don't need to worry about right now or you can configure to taste as you go. Uh, there are a lot of options in these menus. Some of them I don't understand myself, but you'll get to know them as you go and most of them you don't need for creating great chip tunes. Next tutorial, we're going to jump right in and start making some sounds. Please subscribe and consider becoming a patron for access to all these tutorials and thanks for watching. <laughs>